verse 11 for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against the stone thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder and the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under thy feet and then it says, because thou hast set, he has set his love upon me. Therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him on high. Because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer. Tonight, God will answer your prayer. When you call upon the Lord with a true heart. When you call upon the Lord from a repentant heart, when you call upon the Lord with a humble heart, He says, He shall call upon me, and I will say, I will set him on high. He because he has known my name. And then He says, I will deliver him, and I will honor him. I will be with him in trouble. And now it says, and with, verse 16, and with, that's a preserved man, a preserved woman, that's a preserved child of God. You will not die before your time. With long life will I satisfy him and I will show him my salvation. I want to tell you we have power for this painful hour. We have power for this perilous hour. And the moment you call upon the Lord and say, Yes, Lord, I give myself to you. And I bring myself under the protection of the blood of the Lamb. The protection of the Lord. The preservation of the Lord and the power of the Lord will work mightily for you in Jesus' name. We are going to rise up now. We are going to pray to the Lord. Begin the retreat of prayer. Begin this retreat with a serious mind. Begin this retreat with a committed heart. A consecrated heart. Saying, Oh Lord, I came for power for this perilous hour. We are going to make this retreat a different kind of retreat. But the kind of prayer we pray. And the kind of power that comes upon our lives. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. If you are not born again yet, you know. If you're still living in sin, you know. If you're a backslider, you know. If you're still following after the devil, yielding to temptation, you know. You want to come to the Lord and say, Lord, I'm sorry. And hand over your life completely unto the Lord. And say, Lord, here am I. I yield, I surrender my life unto you. And then the power for your hour. Preservation for your hour. Protection for your hour, adequate abundant provision for your hour. Call upon the name of the Lord. Let us retreat the retreat of restoration, a retreat of salvation, a retreat of revival, a retreat of renewal. And whatever it is, you lie that will expose you to the enemy, expose you to the peril and the dangers of the hour. Confess and forsake. Don't think about other people just between you and the Lord today. That's your relationship with the Lord. Are you like the people of the world? Ah, you expose yourself to the danger and the peril in this perilous hour. Sinning like they are sinning. Stealing like they are stealing. Committing adultery like they are committing adultery. Being occultic, like they are occultic, you expose yourself to the peril, the danger of this present hour. Call upon the name of the Lord. Come to the Lord. Come to the Lord. Between you and the Lord, right there, reconcile with the Lord. Confess your sin. 
forsake your sin and come out free. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. For the seed of God abides in him. And he will not sin, he cannot sin. He keeps himself. And that wicked one touches him not. Don't be like the people that have a form of godliness. But deny the power thereof. Call upon the Lord. Say, Lord, I'll come out clean. Wash me, Lord, whiter than snow. Make me different. Let your salvation make me different. Let the regeneration, conversion, make me different. The desire to see, take it away from me. And the desire to be like other people, unbelieving, sinful, carnal, worldly, take it away from me. Let me bold and courageous, fearless, against sin, against temptation, bring me under the canopy and the cover of your sustaining grace. Lord, make this retreat the turning point in my life. New life, pure life, holy life, righteous life. Lord, make this retreat the turning point in my life. Take all the fear of men away from me. All the fear of persecution. Take it away from me. The fear that makes me to forget the word of God. And to bench and to bow. To the new cognizance of this world. Take that fear away from me. And Lord, make me strong, very courageous, and give me the grace to be obedient to your word. And grant me the power for this hour. The power for this hour. The power for this present hour. Cleanse me. Wash me. Give me a clean heart. A clean conscience, a victorious life, life that is built on the solid rock of your world. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord, to stand. Help me, Lord. To be faithful against temptation. Faithful. 
against the threats of the enemy. That Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego never, never bending the knee or bowing 